Welcome to this look at a new-ish map on Farming Simulator 19. With me, Mr. Sealy P. This is South Parana. This map is based in the state of Parana in this, in southern Brazil. This is by Z. Henrique Agrofarm BR, 181.33 megabytes to download. I'm catching up on my map tours. This one dropped the week I was away. With everything been going on over the last week with mods and maps and all the usual stuff, it's taken me a while to catch up to it. But we are now here. It's a nice, colourful, bright map. This is one of those ones. It's a little bit of a tale of two halves for me personally, my own personal opinion. I'll show you what's what, what's here. You can make your own decision as we go round. Are there mods available that the map maker has put in? There's one. We've got the grain silo here is a modded one. That's the only mod that's available on the map, put in by the map maker. Obviously, any other mods you decide to put in are entirely up to you. We're here at the main farm. We do start with a few bits of equipment and machinery. Now, it does say on the mods hub, the main farm has a silo, supply of seeds and fertilizers, in addition, a vehicle workshop. I haven't been able to find the seed and fertilizers anywhere. <laughs> I've been around all over the place. There's some stuff over here. And this is your fuel tank. Fuel tanks for filling up your vehicles with fuel. We just come over, click it, and boom. So I thought, okay, that's what these are. So I grabbed the seeder, brought it over. That takes seed and fertilizer. Couldn't find a trigger around here. I've been all over the place. Um, so, yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. That is a bit of an odd one. Now, the map itself, let's have a quick look. Well, I always say quick look and then I take ages. This is the map. Not that many fields. With that comes an inherent issue, maybe. They're expensive. The field prices are quite a lot of money. We start with on New Farmer, which I'm on. Field 1. We don't actually own the plot of land the farm's on. That comes with Field 2, which is 1,408,000. Our plot here is worth 456. That's the field we start with. Now, you're going to have to turn that field quite a few times to be able to afford to buy some of these because they are quite pricey. But it gives you that feel. Now, it does say the map has been created with great care and details of the Piranha region. I don't doubt that at all. I've never been to Brazil, but we'll soon see. Uh, as far as equipment, machinery and slot count, on New Farmer, which I'm on, it's 460 slots out of 1,299. There's the vehicle workshop tucked under there. And we start with a few bits, not a huge amount of equipment and machinery. If I go to Garage, we start with the Star ST Max 105, an ST Max 180, an MAN TGS 18500. We've got a T560 John Deere Harvester, Crumper Trailer. We've got the Stara Ninja uh, Auger Wagon. We have got a header for the Harvester. We've got a Cultivator. And we've got a Cedar. The Silo is the modded one that I said about. That's the only mod available. It does take some extra crop types. We're going to talk about those crop types in just a minute. 250,000 litre capacity. If you come onto here on Farm Manager or Start from Scratch, the slot count drops down to 452. You have all the start machinery. The only difference is you don't have the Silo. But you can buy it and put it down somewhere else. If you want to get rid of all the start machinery, you can get the slot count down to 311, which is pretty good. You don't start with a sleep trigger, which is also a nice feature, I guess. If you know, It depends how you feel about those. There are plenty available in the mod tub. It does give you the ability to then put your sleep trigger wherever you like. So there is no sleep trigger when you start. We'll go back to the map and I'll show you here at the farm. There's no sleep trigger showing, just the silo and our equipment. And there's no sleep trigger anywhere else around the map. Now, as you can see, some of the fields here have got these ridges in. They're quite pronounced. And it's an interesting feature of the map, which we'll look at in a bit more detail as we go around. As far as I'm aware, I could be wrong, and I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they're designed to reduce soil erosion. And kind of wash out is, is that it gives somewhere for the for any water to run especially in tropical sort of, I think I'm pretty sure south or Piranha the state of Piranha sits on the Tropic of Capricorn is that the lower one 
so it's you know not far off the equator it's a it's a tropical zone so they get rain of course they do and it's hot and humid and that kind of thing so i think it's designed to stop um that kind of runoff of soil so they don't have the soil erosion but it gives somewhere for the water to go that pond there is available for water should you need it the roads are pretty bumpy i'll be honest as we go now as we're driving off let's talk about a couple of things contracts are available on the map we need to go that way and i usually talk about crops there are additional crops on this map and there are quite a few actually you know what we'll have to do let's stop here and we'll have a look if we go into this one and we scroll across first thing to note custom um icons i like i'll be honest with you i find these a lot easier to un understand but you know what i mean we kind of got used to the ones in game but they're they're really nicely made nice and clear i like them a lot i think they're brilliant so as we go across the icons we'll get across to the end see things like that for the grass hay and straw i mean it couldn't be more glaringly obvious could it i mean it's that's brilliant i love it so then we move across and we've got these ones on the end so the grass one there is a uh, brachiaria and brachiaria is called what was the name it's signal grass in a lot of places around the world it's used as a forage crop quite tall standing so and i think in brazil i wrote down some notes in brazil on average 40 million hectares of brachiaria signal grass is planted in brazil every year 40 million hectares mad uh next to that we've got rice then we have got rye, then we've got millet, then we've got black beans, and then we've got sorghum. So we've got quite a few extra crop types on this particular map, which, you know, it's a nice addition to have. Now, when I said this was a tale of two halves, it, it's, that's fantastic, don't we? I think it's great having extra crops. You put them into the ground with cedars or planters. The planters do have them in addition as well to the regular crop types that a planter will put in. So the cedars or planters will put those extra crop types in the ground. Now because the signal grass, the brachiaria, is used as a forage crop, I thought, okay, that's cool. So you'll be able to just kind of forage that like corn and whatever. So I went along all of the forage harvester headers, and apart from the all crop headers, which are those ones there, your forage headers still only do corn and sunflower. So it is going to be used as a crop crop rather than you can't mow it or anything actually i'm going to check mowers i don't think you can mow it pretty sure you can't mow it no it's harvested with regular headers so planted and seeded with seeders and planters regular headers are what you're going to harvest all of those new crop types with all those additional crop types i'm not saying necessarily new um additional crop types so there's obviously there's no additional equipment been put in for this it's just utilizing what's there already which is no bad thing you know it's kind of i say um, it has to be done somehow if you're going to do it. Now, as far as that goes, though, because it's then done as a regular crop, let's go back to here. Look at the prices. The price there for the um, brachiaria, and if you go on to the black bean, the prices are mad on here for those crop types. I mean, the prices are pretty high for the other ones as well. Your rice and your, uh, not rye, was it millet? Yeah. Even sorghum, they're, they're really high prices at the Cooperativa Sudest. So, additional crops. Planted and seeded with regular planters or seeders, harvested with regular harvester headers. Now, we're going to sweep up from here, and then as we crest just this hill here, oh, I suppose it's the next one, full summit, the next one, it goes down into a little valley before then going back up the other side to a lot of the other cell points. We have got a couple of bits in the valley that we're going to have a look at. Like I said, big open fields. Those ridges might infuriate some people. As we go across this one, you'll, we'll come to one here. And um, this one's actually got crop over the top of it, but I wouldn't have thought you're going to plant your crop over the top of some of those. They're going to be quite hard to harvest, I would think. But they're there. If you stick to the middle of these rows, they're not as bad, but they're pretty bumpy. So, heading down the hill, we're going to take a left and a left again. And that's going to take us to a lime buy point. It is the Caldera LTDA Agricultural Limestone 
see it on the sides if we get there. It's a huge facility for just a limestone by point, but it's whoa, I didn't even notice that huge hole. Onto a better metalled road. Take a left, straight in here. So it's kind of one of those. A lot of people are always crying out for big America maps, or they want big America maps, huge fields to be able to use big machinery. Well, this is a big South America map. Big fields, you can use big machinery. But it's not flat, which I, I think is makes a bit of a difference. So as we can see here, huge, huge facility for just the limestone by point, which is over there. Or lime, should I say. But that's there. Oh, that reminds me, before we get move any further on. Uh, with regard to, we looked at field prices, the periphery of the map is 6,708,000 and it takes in quite a lot. Now, there's no forestry on this map, so this strip here, this strip here, and kind of the bits we're on now, do have trees, sort of, and that again brings me on to the kind of Taylor 2 halves thing. I think it's probably been done to keep the slot count down, but you'll see when we drive along there in a minute, I'll explain it when we get. Now, I was wondering, I don't know how it will be if you're going to pay out six, nearly seven million for the periphery, whether you can place other things on here. It's nice and flat. It's one of those things often when you do a map tour, it's tricky. You know, I have done it before where I've checked on a map and I've placed something somewhere and thought, okay, that's great, you can place things. Um, and then people say, well, yeah, but you can't place them anywhere. And, it, you know, I can't check the entire map to see if you can place things everywhere. That's, you know, I don't know where people are going to want to place things. So, heading east along the uh, kind of valley floor, I guess, we have got a fuel station coming up on our left. And then next to that, we have got the fairer, which is the fair sell point. I think it's like a little market, I think is what it means. It's like, almost like a little market stall. That's one of the three cell points. So, there we have. Fuel station. And Thera. Which is just there. Roadside open air supermarket. Market. Maybe not supermarket. But. And continuing east again. Now, there are... There's only one lot of animals on here. And that's cows. You see the ridges across the field? It's kind of stepped. Kind of almost terraced, but in reverse. Um, so what, that's what I mean is that the water should come down, hit one, and then roll away from it, rather than taking all the soil with it. Anyway. Yeah, so we've got cows. Um, I say cow farm. It's just the cows on it. You have to buy the land to have it. And I think... The Hills, where I put it down, it's 200, it will hold 200. That's fixed in place. It's not, um, I mean, it looks like a standard Giants one, but you'll see when we get to it, it's a little bit different. I'm going to cut across there because it'll be a little bit quicker. We've got some barn space or shelter space. Again, nice big open area. Should allow for placeables. Can't guarantee it. Like I said, this will hold 200. So it looks like a standard one, but it's built into the map as the hillside goes away from it like that. Feed trough, I think feed water and bedding there. Your dialogue box is just here for buying, selling, loading or unloading. And then the milk point is right over there. So right, not right next to it. I'm just checking to see if there's a water trough. I didn't think to look in the field. I don't think there is. This is up in there. I'll do a quick check. It's not going to hurt, is it? Let's have a quick look. And there is a water source, but often you find on maps, they, they don't use that. Now, it doesn't say anything about required mods. Oh, that's interesting. That could be the bedding then. I'm glad I came in to check that. Manure point is just there. And slurry point is just around the side. There. Like I say, this is your milk just here so from here we're going to go back on the road a little bit then we're going to head up the hill and up in the well it's interesting it is cooperativa sudest which means southeast and it's i know just i'm being picky i know i'm sorry um it's more kind of 
it's more northeast than southeast but i suppose on the scale of an entire region it probably is in the southeast we've, we've just got a small part of it i guess is another way of looking at it right so looking down at my list what have i missed have i missed anything uh, i don't think so we'll talk about reset in a little while crops we've covered So we should see a bit close up now this sort of stepped. So whilst you buy that plot and that's all one field, it is almost kind of split up into chunks. So you could put separate crop when well, you can do it on any field, can't you? You could put separate crops in a field, just leave a space and you should be fine. But yeah, it's an interesting look. Now, this map doesn't have a biogas plant, and it does say biogas can be created regarding players taste but what is interesting is the map maker has actually put an area for your biogas plant which you can buy big open area and then you can't there are a few biogas quite a few biogas mods available in the mods hub there are loads of silage clamps and stuff like that so you could build your own biogas plant it could be part of your storyline if you want to do it you've been brought into the area to build a biogas plant and you could gradually build it up as you go along and but I like that, you know, some maps you don't get a biogas plant at all um, and then you've got to kind of work out where am I going to put it, then land, take the land, that kind of thing. I think it's nice that that's been put in ready for you to do if you want to do it. Another big step up there to the northern part of the map. And then heading out to the east again, we come to the Cooperativa Sudest. Now this is, again, another one of those just feels a little bit for me personally i like the layout of the map i like the, the stepped hillsides or like the terracing type thing i like the biogas bit i like I like all the extra crops been added in all that kind of thing this for me just felt a little bit cartoony is the wrong word it's almost like the buildings have been enlarged to make them bigger but it, i don't know when I mean, you decide what do you think i that's just my own personal opinion um, the cell point is just up here. Now this is the cell point that will do all of those additional crop types, as well as you know your main crop types. There, the fair will do things like potatoes, sugar beet, cotton, eggs, milk, wool, that kind of thing. And then we've got the usina parana, which we're going to come to in a little while, and that does potatoes, sugar beet, and sugar cane. So the Cooperativa Sudest is your kind of it's your main sell point really on the map. But again, very large area. So from here we'll go back out and we're gonna head west. Next place we're gonna to come to is gonna be the Usina Parana, which is the power plant oh, cool tree. Power plants. It does have a nice sweep. I, li I like that kind of valley feel down in the middle there. Coming right up to that really raised section up to the north. I didn't even actually look when I did the quick whiz round to check the map. How you actually get up to that terrace bit. That's a big field section. Oh, I think it's a bit further along. I think it sweeps down to the road. I remember now. Yeah, it's just here. So, power plant cell point. It's a huge power plant is in here. I like this. It's cool. Tip into the side. I say this was like potatoes, sugar beet, and sugar cane. Obviously, all gets processed, used to create power, like the power plant. And then you've got a spoil heap there when everything's been used out the back. Nice. Uh, let's go back out that way. 
Next we have got the animal dealer. So we have got cows, you can put anything on you want. The same with any map, you know. Some maps come fully loaded with all the animals already included. Other maps, like this one, don't. Oh, I meant to show you the trees. Actually, you can see them just over there. We'll have a look. There's your livestock market, animal dealer, just there. Which brings us to the last point, which is the main store. Big open area. It's a very familiar looking building, although it has been altered to be a John Deere one. It's been a bit weathered. So things like you've got, so you've got detail on all this. I just felt that the other side, the Cooperativa Sudest, was seemed to be lacking a little bit. The power plant, fantastic. Again, just my own personal opinion. So we've got the trigger inside for buying, which obviously you can do from your main uh, controller anyway. Reset point is just over here. Big open space, plenty of room for large machinery. Got these ramps here. So if you want to load up uh, step deck trailers, that kind of thing, that might make life a little bit easier. But what I didn't find up here is a workshop trigger. The only one is down at the main farm. Now there are plenty of vehicle workshops available. And again, this is a big flat area. Well, I think this is part of the periphery, isn't it? Which could be a bit annoying. Yeah. I was going to say you could put a workshop trigger on here if you wanted one. But I, I mean, there might be one. There's no disc. And I just have a wander around trying to find one. Uh, I think on this particular building. It always used to be round here with a marked out area but, but there isn't one that I could see or find so that's that now uh, are we close enough to that oh yeah I suppose we are a little bit here so this is what I was talking about the trees there's no forestry um, and I think obviously to keep the slot count down we've got quite a few sections of the map well you have got some nice trees and these trees are fantastic there's some mixed in with palm trees you know it's a nice blend but then we've got areas like this where they are kind of cross section almost I mean they're made to look three dimensional but kind of two dimensional trees there's a lot of those I can totally understand why um, it's not been made as a logging map or anything like that but it's again it's worth pointing out it's, it's, it's there it's, it's not something that can be hidden because if I don't mention it the first thing someone will comment and say well yeah but the, you know the forest bit the trees you can't cut down because they're two dimensional so I thought I'd point it out while I was there um, I think, I think that's the map. We started off down here at the main farm, came up and out and round. As we came out around this bit, that sweeps away down to the side and goes all the way back around here to field four. We came all the way out here and went to the uh, Caldera LTDA, along to the Vera and the fuel station, all the way along to the cows. Then we came back along, up the hill, biogas area, Biogas area is 121,000 to buy and then place whatever you like. The Cooperativa, Sudest, and we come back along all the way past field 9. We've seen a Parania, the power plant, animal dealer, and shop, shop, store. That's the map. By Zay Enrique Agro Farm BR. As always with my map tools, you take from it wherever you will, that's entirely up to you. I'm just showing you what's here, pointing out some of the features, that kind of thing. Whether you decide to play on it is entirely up to you. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.